So here you can see that I am using a very crumpled piece of brown paper and I am using black pencil crayon at this point. I've already drawn out my uh, basic outline using a uh, black pencil crayon uh, very lightly and I'm starting with the dark shadows. So I'm pressing slightly harder on my pencil crayon, trying to create some real contrast and variation in tone, uh, trying to pick out those dark areas of the image. Um, the background that I did use actually is just an old paper bag that came, I think, with a, a takeaway. Um, and I just crumbled it up before I did my drawing on it. Um, you can also <clears throat> crumple it once you have uh, begun your drawing uh, or done your basic outline. Um, here, so I'm, I'm varying the direction of my shading. I am following the contours of the face and now I add the white highlights to it. So I like to work on small areas at one time and I have added here uh, the white shading, um, pressing quite hard because I really want to bring out those white highlights on the face. Uh, down the centre of the nose especially um, and little bits around the eye to start with and what I'm doing here is using sort of a stippling technique so I am dotting uh, for the pores in the nose um, and this gentleman has quite open pores around his nose and I would do it all over his cheeks as well um, when I got to that area. So I'm just varying my technique. Um, I'm using the, the black pencil there, softer. I'm not pressing as hard, varying the pressure, changing the direction. Shading, I mean, the pencil cranes are quite soft, so you can shade a little with them. Um, they do smudge a little bit, maybe with a finger or thumb, but not with the smudger. Um, and I've avoided using water on mine because I know this paper doesn't like water. So I'm just going back over some areas now, adding more white highlight. Using the brown uh, from the paper as a mid-tone there as well, so not um, completely covering anything with black or white. Um, just to show you here, I know it's quite difficult to see, but the way I was doing his hair for his beard and his moustache, I uh, flipped my process round, so I actually did the white highlights first, and then I worked back into them with the dark um, black to show the darker areas, um, and that seemed to be a little bit easier for the hair. 